Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm, uh, I'm working on a couple of things today. I actually uh, didn't forget the Dremel tool, which is great. And uh, I can, you can see that I've, I've made it this far. I actually haven't made it out to purchase any other clamps yet, but I've made it this far with the, the two of these. And I don't know if you can see, there's just a nice fillet of epoxy all the way down. That's what I like to see. Um, and when it glistens in the light like that, you can see it's continuous. Uh, makes me super happy. So. Um, I did discover something when I was doing the bottom ones that I kind of wish I would have started with on the top. I don't know if you remember, I was actually using this piece of wood here and uh, to kind of lift the to lift the piece up against it and then I would have to hold it with my fingers while I got a clamp on it. Well I came up with an idea that actually worked a whole lot better. And let me find my two pieces here. I want to show this to you. Um, as soon as I can round them up. There they are. All right, so what I actually uh, ended up doing is I just took a little piece of a uh, piece of plywood like this, and I bring it in here, and I actually clamp it right here. Uh, I clamp it right there. I'll, I'll do that now, but I got to put the camera down in a second. Actually, let me get my stand. One second. Yeah, so what I actually did is uh, just took my clamp, put the piece uh, right there where it's flush with the bottom of the rib, and uh, then I just clamp it in place out here, um, like that. And then I do the same over on this side, just put the piece in there. This has got a little bit of epoxy on the bottom. There was some epoxy that dripped down, so I gotta knock that off real quick. Uh, okay. You never have to say sorry, you kidding me? Sorry for what? Uh, I don't mind. This is a this part's just a bonus, so hit it with a clamp right there, and you're good to go. I love how this wood is actually tonal. Uh, reminds me of like really good guitar wood. Um, anyway, so when you get it together, hit it with your clamp, and that's it. And then you just take this one off and move down. Uh, move down the road to the next one and you're all set. If I would have done that on the top, it would have been real easy. I could have just taken them here, clamped them, and uh, just push these up against, get a clamp in the middle, and then all set. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I just wanted to knock my camera over. <laughs> Not really. I wanted to show you that. And uh, yeah, so what's happening over here is I just have a Dremel tool. Um, with like a, a bit in it that's just kind of a side cutting type bit. Um, just get it at Home Depot off in the Dremel section. And what's what's cool about this little fitting here that goes on your Dremel tool is you just set your depth. So this is actually set for where I have plywood. And all you have to do is slip a piece of plywood in here and then you're able to uh, kind of work around it like that. So this is a uh, this depth has to, there you go. So you can see how that sits on the plywood. 
I've set it for the perfect depth. You can see in there, this might be too dark. Maybe from this side, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I turn it that way. Let's try that. Yeah. So anyway, you can see the lines I've got marked. Um, this is the starting point where I just have to remove, uh, just have to remove this material uh, up to the black lines, and uh, ran a test on the front side, so you can see what I've actually done already here. I've got this cut, uh, cut out. Um, just wanted to check it out, see how it worked, and uh, yeah. So I'll get these cut out, get them on there, kind of make some marks where the spars are, and then I have to actually use the same tool to kind of mark out or actually cut out the uh, the openings in the uh, root rib where the two uh, the two mounts come off of here, the straps come through, uh, and then I'll be all set to get that one glued in place. So um, yeah, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work with the Dremel here and remove some of this material, test this rib out, and then we'll uh, uh, we'll go from there. Cool. Pretty nice clean job here. The uh, Dremel actually worked out great, um, and uh, wasn't too uh, wasn't too difficult. So we'll give this a uh, give this a go and see how we match up here. Uh, looks pretty good. The wing sitting on the got it sitting on the bench here, so, I, so this can sit flat as well as these are sitting flat. Just tilted it out a bit. Actually, that's a great fit. So we were really good about that. And uh, yeah, that's that's perfect. I'll check it with a straight edge. Uh, it's very straightforward. So uh, once I push this up against there. Uh, that's ideal. Everything's nice and tight right there. Everything's nice, and, uh, it's nice and tight up here. Right up against the wood in here. So, yeah, super happy with that. And now what I'm going to do is I need to take some measurements. I need to mark exactly where these are um, on the outside. Uh, All right, so here's what I'm working out uh, right now is uh, what I need to know is where the top of this, where the top of this strap. Where does it lay in relationship to the top of the rib? So I'm just measuring here, and I want to leave a little bit of space. So if I pull this up a little bit, it's, it's like 9 sixteenths. Um, it's half inch right there, and if I uh, pick it up a sixteenth of an inch, then I get uh, basically, oh, it's not 9 sixteenths. Uh, 7 sixteenths. All right, so the rear one, needs, the slot needs to start 7 sixteenths from the top of the rib. The front one has to start, um, I'm saying 5 eighths from the top of the rib. 
I'm just going to double check this one one more time. Slot starts 7 sixteenths. Drain that down. I said 5 eighths on this one. I think I have a little epoxy on these bolts so they're not. Uh, They weren't going through all the way, so let's see this one does. But I'm going to double check those holes before I uh, get too far along. Make sure that they, they're cleaned out good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to check the front one. Um, it's right there. And I lift it up a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, that's five eighths. So five eighths on the front. And uh, 7 sixteenths on the back, and then we just go over to the slot that I have marked out here, and we'll be, uh, you can see when I put it up against there, it's basically on the rear, it's easy because it's the, it's the width of uh, the spar here, and so the width of the spar runs right on through. And then all we have to do is, uh, we just have to measure down, uh, forward and rear from the top of the rib. And I'm actually a little bit off, maybe a 32nd of an inch off of there, but I'm just going to leave that so I have a little bit of extra room. And measure down. The forward one is 5 eighths. I'm just going to come down 5 eighths here. Slide will start right there, and the rear is uh, seven sixteenths. We're going to come down seven sixteenths. It's going to put us right there. So that's where the slot's going to start. My piece is a. Uh, Three quarter inches. So we're going to go uh, three quarter. We're going to go three quarter and then we're going to add about a maybe a sixteenth. So we'll go. That'll give us plenty of space on either side. That way, when this goes through there, it's not a not a tight fit. All right, so we're just going to go with this. to the outside of the line, the width of the material plus a little bit, so I'm going to slide in a 16 just for good measure. I need to mark there. Okay, so 
that's our places we need those holes and I'm going to actually uh, just kind of round them off a bit so just kind of self a little round what I could do is I could go and drill I could go drill this but I'm just going to shape it I'll shape it with my Dremel tool so I'm not too concerned about it um, yeah so get out the Dremel tool again. I'll cut out these two holes and uh, and we'll test fit it and see how it goes. All right, so I got um, I got the holes cut and uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I did this, but somehow I managed to uh, uh, yeah, I managed to make a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna happen, right? It's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt a thing. I've got a little bit of uh, work to do here. I'll show it to you. If you can notice right there, I cut the front one perfect. Uh, no problem there, but something on my measurement didn't work out here and I ended up on the wrong side of the eighth of an inch uh, gusset here. And so I guess I just didn't go Quite far enough I should have measured in from where I made this mark on the top right there um, if I would have measured in from there I would have been fine but instead I went out from here and no big deal I'll uh, take care of that expand this one this one fits really nice slid in there uh, perfectly so I will uh, yeah you live and learn. So, um, as always, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe and uh, hit the little bell so you don't miss anything, and I'll catch you later.